Hello. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Ma'am? Hey. Careful. Things aren't as safe around here as they could be. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup, killed the guards that weren't able to escape, and have been ransacking the area since then. Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers, mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. I have some free time. Ask away. Ma'am.
Sometimes the journey beats the destination. And especially if your spurs go jingle, jangle, jingle, and you meet some nice gals along the way. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. The town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over, but we couldn't turn down the catch. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that and turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. 
Nope, different fella, bigger. Had himself a face on a screen, and he talked more like you or me. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law, but he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. That beat up old thing? What do you want to know? Hey, you're welcome to try. It's yours if you can get it working. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak and be done with the damn thing. Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but that ain't gonna happen. Don't go getting yourself shot. 